is Tortimer the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft Jurassic World Edition. Um, and we have got some fun stuff to do today. Um, I've got my helmet back on uh, because I was messing with the config option when we last updated the mod. And uh, there was a, an option to turn off the skull overlay. So that's gone so we can actually wear a little bit of armor here. Uh, it, it's a pretty cool looking helmet and since it's not constantly obstructing my view, uh, we're going to wear it, which is fun. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so we've got uh, a couple of things I want to do with you guys today. Um, let's see, I moved, uh, well, let, let's do that first. Let's do that first. Uh, do I have it? No, I don't. Um, so I ended up moving the, um, uh, the, both the baby Allosaur and the Ankylosaur, um, that we had extra. And I moved them over to the nether area where I, uh, I finished construction after the last episode. So let's go check that out very quickly. We can kind of see how it is. We may need to expand it at some point or something. I don't know. But uh, what did I do with that other portal? Did I just leave it in here? I maybe, maybe had not taken it yet. Our village is bustling again. I got rid of all the doors. The extra just spammed around doors. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Stupid ghast. Alright. Well, we're inside now. Um, uh, my Ankylosaur had been right here, right? Uh, I wonder if he maybe ended up suffocating himself because this pen was a little small. I might need to expand out, like make a double wide pen on each side or something. Usually they shouldn't grow too much, but we've got the little, uh, little Ankylosaur, or little Allosaur in here, the little nether one. Um, I did a bit of testing in my, uh, creative world, and, um, it did, it did seem that, uh, uh, it did seem that, like, the hotter biomes kind of were generating the nether variants now, so I don't know if they're, in recent updates, if they're really nether variants anymore, but they're just kind of, like, hot terrain, uh, dudes, so... Because uh, I, I, I tried in the desert and in um, in savannas and things like that, and we got red guys again uh, in my when I was in the creative world doing testing with it. Um, and so we probably, I've got a couple of allosaurs cooking. Uh, we might test out, um, we still don't have any arrows. We might test that out a little bit uh, later uh, if, if some of those, those work. Um, do, 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 do these... No, he must have. He must have suffocated. That's unfortunate. Um, I thought maybe he might have just glitched through the floor because it's not real thick there. Um, I cleared down a mountain, and then there was a big gap that I kind of just built over uh, as well to make a big flat area. But uh, okay, well, that's a bit disappointing. Not a big deal, but uh, I probably will. In fact, let's just just go ahead and do that. I'll clear this out. Usually, we'll be hatching dinosaurs in here and or we'll be bringing them when they're babies, so um, not a big deal, but we'll make sure we've got one larger uh, enclosure here um, so that that doesn't happen again, because uh, I don't want to lose dinosaurs. Um, but that's weird, it's not like I spent a lot of time in here, you should at least have, well, I don't know if, if allosaurs drop, well, they should drop some sort of meat, DNA, something. That's weird. That's weird. Anyway, um, okay, so this is this is basically the place, and so you you can enter in through here, and then the end of the hallway, uh, we've got uh, this thing here, which obviously I don't have any other red portal set up, so it doesn't really do anything. But you know, I can bring, uh, I can grab the little Allosaur, and I can bring him through here, push him into that portal, and it does work. It's a little bit temperamental, uh, at least it was with the Encantosaur because the hitbox. I had to get like I had to get the actual hitbox in there, and I think their hitbox is pretty small and in the center of them, so it was a bit difficult to get him in originally, but um, because I, I built a red portal on the overworld, I've since torn it down, but I built one kind of over in the dig site so I could get them both uh, in there pretty easily. Um, but yeah, yeah, so um, here's the, the little nether holding area, we'll, we'll deal with this uh, again at some point, I'm sure. Um, although it may become, well, I mean, it'll be a good holding area at least, but, uh, in terms of, like, hatching nether variants, if it's all just, like, warm weather variants, we really don't need that. 
Um, I've got some glass cooking. Uh, I'm probably back on netherrack again. I need to collect more sand and get that going um, because we're going to need a ton of glass for the um, uh, the pyramid on the visitor center. That's going to be oh baby. How did you get in? Were you set to follow or something? <laughs> uh, I wonder if he was set to follow or if he like teleported when I got hit by that gas. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, well, he's gonna hang out in the village for a minute until I figure out what to do with him. Um, will he teleport to me? I know he will eventually. Did he go back into the nether? Gosh darn it. <laughs> um, let's check. Let's check and see if he went back into the nether. Um, giant kylosaur? Buddy? No. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, hey, 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 hey. Slow your roll, gas. I need. I need to get a good source of arrows. I need to set up. I think we found a skelly spawner at some point. We need to set up. Um, set up a, a, a mob farm with that. Both, we'll set it up for experience as well as uh, arrow gathering. I've got no idea. That, you guys saw that, right? There was a giant ankylos over there. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll move on. Um, yeah, village is pretty much the same. Uh, we've got our enchanting area. We, basically, we're, we're filling this in with, with some of the more Minecrafty stuff. Um, I don't know what to do about that uh, ankylosaur though. He's on follow, so he probably will pop in at some point. Um, Sarah's getting big. I don't know if she's grown a ton since the last time I showed her to her. Yeah, she's grown a bit. She's definitely grown a bit. Uh, and so I think probably today we will go over by the visitor center, take a look at to where we might want to end up putting her. Um, I know I've got a short list of, uh, in fact, I want to grab some wood because I want to actually put up some signs, start thinking through this a little more critically uh, with you guys. Um, um, I wanted, uh, why am I in here? <laughs> I want to uh, drop off some of this stuff, I guess. Uh, do, 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 do. I need more chests. I need, I need to get more organized. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely brain fart. I've got no idea what we were doing. Let's check out the Allosaur here. Um, oh, we were going to grab wood because we need to make, um, right, right. I'm, I'm still here. Um, okay, so yeah, I want to grab a little bit of wood because I want to put some signs up. Uh, I want to start thinking through, okay, so where do we want to put all this stuff? Got a couple of sticks. One of those is our ordering stick, that's right. I'll throw that in there. We do have a little bit of glass here, although i got to go back in the nether to make that worthwhile, so we'll, we'll skip that. Why did I make green glass? Oh, we were trying to make a... Yeah, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Um, okay, so is it becoming night? Let's jump into bed real quick. Sleep that off. Um, do, 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 do. All right, so let's make a couple of signs. All right, that'll be good. More than enough at that rate. Uh, all right, drop those back in there. So we'll we'll go over. We'll do this maybe in the visitor center, or we'll go over to the actual areas. Um, but, let's, was that the second Allosaurus? Do we have one that's done already? I put two in there, just to be safe. Okay, so we do have an Allosaurus. Um, we'll want to grab... Grab some of this cobble. Uh, we'll dump the sand back into the sifter. Let that run. Um, do I have... I've got a biofossil, which should be all we need. We'll grab these bones. Yeah, all right. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, we got a, oh, we got a ton of biofossils here. We should pop those in. Um, well, we can go ahead and do that, I guess. I don't know what I'm saving these for. Um, 
So let's go ahead and we will, I'm saving one. Just drop the rest of these in here though, let that run. Um, okay, alrighty, so um, I, like I was saying, I wanna go um, kind of figure out where we might be putting Sarah as well as uh, the mammoth here. Um, he's getting bigger, he's getting a little bit bigger. Um, we do need to name him at some point. <sighs> I've gotten some good suggestions. Um, I almost, you guys will have to let me know what you think of, of this. I I like the suggestions that you guys gave me. I'm almost thinking of naming him though, something that somebody didn't suggest, something that I kind of thought of. I'm thinking of maybe naming him Bane, um, as in like this, the Batman villain, but also just like um, when something like in olden times or like in Lord of the Rings or whatever would kill something, it would become the bane of something. So, um, like the the uh, the Balrog in the Mines of Moria was Durin's bane. Um, you know, when Theoden's horse uh, or I, I know, something killed Theoden, it was Theoden's bane. I mean, so I'm thinking because this thing killed both its mother and I'm kind of, even though maybe unfairly blaming it for the death of Casper. Um, I'm thinking of naming this guy Bane. So if you guys have any objections to that, let me know. Um, but I, I'm thinking that's where we're going to be going with it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to name him Bane. I like the other suggestions. Um, we may use those for, for something else, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that guy's going to be Bane. Um, alright, so let's head over this way now. Um, walking on foot because we don't have a mount of any kind. I think I did see some horses when we were exploring um, heading north previously, so we maybe maybe we'll go look at some horses at some point um, until we find a new uh, another new dragon. Um, couldn't tell who that was, uh, but no new babies for Doser and Dolly as of yet. Uh, Pickles and Nedry are doing good. Pickles is taking a while to grow, I feel like. Let's let's jump in there uh, and take a look at her. Because um, I feel like I've seen full-grown uh, Dolophosaurus and they feel like they're, they're bigger than this. Okay, so she's still only five days. Uh, so she's got plenty of growing to do. Uh, she's gonna be pretty big, especially compared to like Nedry's more slender, tall design. Um, She's gonna look pretty big comparatively. Uh, we still need more Dilophus. I think I don't think we've got any more Dilophus or DNA for either mod, so we're definitely gonna. We may get some from all those um, pile fossils that we're rendering out right now, um, but uh, we need definitely some more from from Jurassic Craft because I'd love to get some more in there. And at some point, maybe next episode, we'll just spend a little bit of time um, doing some uh, enclosure work. Um, but uh, yeah, so you guys. Um, I've been working on the visitor center. That, that's why I haven't done much with like the enclosures and stuff because I've just been kind of cranking out the visitor center uh, when I'm doing buildy stuff. But uh, the front looks basically. I haven't really done much ex a ton of exterior work. I've done a little bit, I guess, but not a ton since you guys would have seen it last. Um, so the front looks pretty much the same. Um, I did do a bit of work on the sides um, up top, at least. Um, yeah, pretty much just up top. Uh, for external at least. I, I put in, I had put in the the green, the pillars, but I hadn't put in like the trim and stuff on them yet. So I did that, I uh, got the trim up top, um, cleared out my scaffolding though, so that works, it, it's looking nice. I wanted, to, I wanted to make sure it was looking good. Got this fancy, I, I love these doors. Thank you, Genie. Um, and then I did a bunch of work on the inside. So um, I put this pedestal in, you guys, there was a, these concentric circles here. I put this pedestal in. This is just uh, chiseled glowstone. I really like it though. Um, it's kind of nondescript as far as ghost glowstone goes, but it gives some lighting and things like that. Uh, and then I started, I was talking how like over here was going to be kind of a restaurant. And so I started playing around with things uh, and I put in some tables and chairs, which I actually really like uh, how they turned out. Uh, so this is just a carpenter block pressure plate uh, that I put uh, glass inside of. And then this is just fences, obviously. Um, and then we've got, um, <clears throat> We've got these colorful chairs here. Uh, da, 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 da. This back uh, that I put some glowstone under, so you can't see the light uh, source there, uh, but uh, it lets light through uh, because of the the chair there. So 
Uh, I put some colorful clays in there. I figured the seating would be kind of bright and colorful given the exterior. Um, and uh, and so I think I'm really liking it. I might put another little table over here too, just like I, I did over there. I kind of had a single seater, maybe do a, another double seater over there. Uh, and then I think you'll come in here and we'll probably, you know, just, just for descriptive, they'll probably be, it'll probably be made with like stairs or something, or maybe even like a carpenter vertical slab or something here, a, a countertop. And then behind here, there'll be like a villager and, and some dispensers or chests or something. I gotta figure out how all that's gonna work. Um, maybe it'll be a wraparound sort of thing, um, but uh, something where yeah, you, you'll be able to come in here, kind of like a cafeteria, you'll get some food, uh, and then you can come out here and eat. I think, I think it'll end up looking good. I think it'll end up looking good. So I'm pretty happy with, uh, with how that's turning out. Um, and then I did a bunch of work. Um, I changed up, I don't remember if it was, I think it was probably set up last time, but I had just had like um, stairs in here, uh, carpenter stairs. Um, in the corners and I decided I wanted to go a little further with it so I tore that out um, and these are just slabs or, or the slopes or whatever that are placed in there uh, to make the, the kind of wood support beam thing which I'm really happy with how that's turned out um, and more more and more I'm just really liking this and I hadn't really done a lot of the interior stuff in creative I, I pretty much just worked on like the external building of it um, and so um, pretty happy with how it's turning out because I'm kind of just free balling it here while I'm working um, and then up here I did a bunch of work too. So I had had um, just the basic, a little bit of path out here, but I finished up the top level um, and then I rimmed it in this, this dark wood again and I've got this glass here, it's kind of a balcony thing. So it gives you a nice view of the, uh, the lower level um, and uh, it also uh, gives us some nice open space. I'm thinking, uh, you know, kind of tucked in the corner because I want this this walkway to be more or less open but we probably will have uh, some other pedestals you know in each corner maybe with some more uh, skeletons on it um, which I think will look cool I think I think more or less this is gonna be really awesome looking in the end um, I need to figure out I've got this just dirt staircase here because I have yet to figure out exactly how I want to put in the stairwell um, I'm thinking it'll probably end up being like a double wraparound staircase sort of thing. So like it'll start maybe here and kind of round up into, or it'll be, it'll start like, it'll be under here and it'll kind of wrap up into this. I haven't really figured it out yet, uh, which is why we still have dirt uh, there, but uh, it'll be it'll be nice looking, whatever, whatever it ends up being. Um, but yeah, so I'm liking the cafeteria thing. Again, over here, did I key? I had grant, no I didn't. Um, over here is going to be obviously a little lab thing. I don't think they're going to have access to that. Um, I probably, because we've got, um, because we've got this, uh, this, this little thing here and this kind of leads into this on both sides, I probably will kind of like I've got over here, close this off and maybe put in an iron door or something. Um, so only I can get into it or I'll have like a purely hidden door, um, which we can do with the carpenter blocks, uh, use this texture on it and uh, and I can get rid of it so it, you don't really know it's there uh, from the outside. So I, I've got to figure out how to do that that'll not make it look weird from this side, um, but we'll, we'll do that and so that lab will be um, at least for visitors. I'm thinking I want to put a bigger lab over in the spawn chunks, um, but I haven't quite figured that all out yet. So uh, I don't. I definitely don't think that that'll be the only lab we've got because it's not a lot of space to do all the stuff we need to do. But I think you know, for visitors and such, it'll be a, a, a good little place and a, at least a temporary expansion from what we're doing currently with like one of each piece of equipment and things like that. It'll give us a, a good little expansion until we can get that full lab built back there. But yeah, so that's all the work we did on the visitors center. Um, let's uh, actually while we're while we're doing this, we need to go. Uh, I want to hatch this allosaur, um, but we've got to go over to um, kind of the back section of the park here uh, uh, because um, I think I, so because these hotter biomes like the savanna and desert, the ones that we typically end up playing in, um, seem to be generating just red allosaurs. I want to go um, out into these plainsy, foresty area and see what that'll do for us. Uh, so we'll, we'll run out that way. Uh, and give that a go. Uh, we're gonna need our sword uh, out for sure uh, because it's gonna be tricky. Um, 
So, well, let's not go too far out. We've got this, um... Hey, what was it? Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't want to die. <laughs> I guess I really need to eat. I'm not regening, uh, not regening health. Okay, we need to throw some torches down is what we need to do, especially at least on our bridges. I did end up doing that up front because I was like, I'd be up in like the, I'd be, you know, either in the visitor center and want to run to the front of the park where the entry gate is. Um, to kind of get a look at it as I was coming in or I'd be up front and running towards the visitor center and all of a sudden there's like Tons of things spawning on the bridge and it's like um, That doesn't work so well for me. Um, okay, so let's uh, We're not regenerating health real quickly. We still don't have any arrows <laughs> Oh, now we got creepers spawning and stuff. Let's uh, let's quickly we'll run back and sleep. I'm not playing this game I don't want to spend the rest of our time uh, killing mobs. Oh, um... Yeah, I guess I'll talk about this. Um, <clears throat> so here on this hill, uh, it kind of has a nice vantage point on both this whole section of the park as well as this whole section of the park. I'm thinking of putting in like a... Uh, an emergency response team tower like, um... like you would see in, uh, you know... Uh, you know, Zoo Tycoon or, or like the Jurassic World mobile game that I'm playing. It, something for like, if a dinosaur gets loose, um, there's a, a team nearby to kind of wrangle them. Um, and I think that that's, uh, I think that I want to put a couple of those towers around the park. Um, I'm not sure exactly what functionally they're going to do. Maybe I'll keep like food in them for the dinosaurs or something uh, strategically scattered around the park. But um Definitely gonna put in something like that. It'll be a good observation towery thing uh, for us at least, um, so that'll work out nicely. But let's uh, quickly uh, sleep off the night here. That looks a little, looks a little dim. Don't want anything spawning in here. I, I don't think it's dim enough to have things spawn, but I just I'm paranoid at this point. Um, whoa! In the door. There we go. So we'll sleep this off very quickly, and then we'll go, uh, we'll get this guy hatching. And, uh, and then we can, uh, we can talk a little bit about, um, where we're potentially going to be putting some of the dinosaurs we're hatching and, and things like that. Um, kind of just planning out, now that we've got a pretty good layout of how this park's going to be going, I mean, we kind of just, like, we set up over here and then we're like kind of been working as we were going, but now I've got kind of a vision for how things are going to work out. So we can start thinking about, okay, so here's the dinosaurs that we're going to be putting in different places and things like that. I'm trying to keep a good mixture of like, um, carnos and herbivores in different areas. So like, like over here, we've got, uh, ankylosaurs and stegos, but we also have Dilophosaurus and, uh, the allosaurus. Uh, so trying to keep that mixture, um, we also do need to be, as you guys have uh, so kindly pointed out recently, we need to be keeping in mind also the, um, this, is, this seems deep enough into the, the area, uh, we also need to be keeping in mind um, the, the mammals and things like that. Um, so uh, we'll definitely be doing that uh, here soon. Uh, obviously we've got the, the mammoth hatched, um, or born uh, at least. And so, as we're planning out these separate areas of the parks, uh, we'll, we'll need to be keeping them in mind as well. Uh, and some of them I'm probably going to be putting up in the mountains, um, along with like the terror birds and thing or the pterosaurs and things like that. But um, yeah, all right. So let's quickly throw this down, uh, and then we got to put the egg in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure these don't tame even if we're nearby. So we're gonna leave him to kind of cook for now. Uh, and let's let's head over here um, near the bridge and we'll, we'll talk. So um, we've got presently, without homes, we have a mammoth and a triceratops. All right, so um, let's, let's look at our overview, our map here. Uh, so we're right here. I, I just kind of, these, these are in no way set in stone. I just kind of was like thinking through. Um, but, so we've got a Triceratops, which I am absolutely putting up here somewhere. I think a nice herd of Triceratops up near the front of the park would be really nice. 
Um, and they're kind of a, they're, they're a cool, attractive po uh, Pokemon, dinosaur, um, but they're also not like the wow factor. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of this as if this was a real park. So, you know, we've got the plesiosaurs here, which are a cool dinosaur, but they're not like selling tickets necessarily. But they're a good, attractive um, dinosaur to have up front. I think trikes are pretty similar in that respect. I think that, you know, people will come to see the Triceratops because people love Triceratops. But I think that this is a good space for them. It's that they're pretty big dinosaurs. Um, and so I want to give them a lot of space. Uh, more, way more than even like the stegosaurs, especially because there's way more variants of the Triceratops, I think, potentially. Um, and and as, as I'm putting more stegosaurs in here, we're feeling more and more cramped. So, um, well, we may we may stick with like, the, we may put like one more stegosaurus in here. So we've got couplings of each, um, but we probably won't stick all variants in here just because um, I'm feeling like, you know, well, maybe we'll save some of those other things for like the safari zone area where we're mingling all these different dinosaurs and uh, and we're putting in a track to go look at them, things like that. I think that's probably a better place to put some of that. So, um, yeah, but definitely the trike is going to go up here. Um, I'm thinking I want to have also, um, obviously, I think um, I actually just got, we can, we can, well, we'll, we'll do that next time. Um, but we got a, a Carnotaurus DNA, and somebody was saying they really wanted me to hatch a Carnotaurus. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I might want to put them up here as well. So we've got the Trikes, we've got a Carnotaurus, and we might put um, one of the uh, the mammals up here as well in this in this area. Um, back here, I, I'm definitely thinking Brachiosaurs are going back here. Um, I'm thinking Parasaurolophus because we've got some watery areas. They're kind of a swampy dinosaur uh, as well, so we probably will put a Parasaurolophus back here. I'm thinking back here is also where I wanted to put the T-Rexes. So that's kind of a couple herbivores, a couple of, uh, or a, a carnivore. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm thinking for back here. But now we've got this mammoth. And so realistically, um, I think Shane G, I think I called him out last episode too, uh, he told me, okay, mammoths were plain dwellers or forest dwellers. So really, this is a good place for them in terms of that. But I really like, and we'll, we'll run back up here uh, in a second, but I really like this section, um, this little area here, it's kind of hilly and things like that, and I feel like, I mean, I know maybe realistically that's not the best place for them, but I feel like in depictions of mammoths, for whatever reason, I always feel like they should be in some sort of hilly terrain. And there's a pretty big area here uh, that I think would be really good for the mammoths, and I'm planning on jutting out the path here a little bit, because I think on this side of the lake is where I want to put the dock, um, or the, like the boardwalk or whatever, that would be open to... Um, like the plesiosaurs and stuff. I don't want to like cram it here and like bring it under this bridge and things like that. I want to leave this more or less untouched because we have so much here. But I'm thinking maybe here we'll build like a boardwalk around the lake uh, and then we could have the mammoths up here and visible. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking for now. Um, let's, uh, so I'm thinking back here, parasaurs, uh, Bronto and uh, T Rex. At least for now, that's kind of what I'm thinking. We may we may filter some other ones in there for now, but um, yeah, I, th I think that's what I'm thinking for now. For back here, now let's check on our Allosaurus. He okay, so we did. Um, we got a gray Allosaur this time, so that's cool. Um, there's also a green variant, and those are the only ones I know of up to this point. Uh, but there we go. So um, he is not going to be tamed to us either way, no matter what we do. Um, so it wasn't, didn't really matter. But when he gets older, we'll definitely have to uh, uh, get him tamed. Um, we'll prob I'll probably move him back over here uh, because it'll be a bit of a pain. Uh, I'll do that off camera. Um, thankfully, those colorful water buckets or whatever um, only take like five levels to... Uh, to enchant, so it's not too much of a big deal if I've got to like make a portal and then tear it down, uh, especially because I probably will be uh, sometime here soon setting up an XP farm. Um, uh, if I, I know I found a skeleton spawner at some point, and I definitely need arrows, 
uh, if we're going to be playing on normal, and I definitely need experience. So we'll set up, I'll build some sort of mob farm, something somewhere. Um, of course, I'm going to have to do a lot of lighting up to make that effective, but uh, if it's just a spawner um, and I don't try to do like a standard mob farm with it, uh, then it'll be a little bit easier. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's quickly, we'll jog over here. I want to show you kind of firsthand. I think we might have gone by it a little bit um, last episode. Uh, potentially, I don't remember. I don't remember exactly. Uh, I think I maybe was planning on doing it, but then we couldn't find Casper, um, and so that was in, what was the issue. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure at this point that Casper's definitely dead. Um, unfortunately, or not dead, I guess, because he was already a ghost. But um, yeah. Anyway, next week probably. Um, Sometime in the next handful of episodes, it won't be next episode probably, but sometime coming up, maybe the episode after that, uh, we'll definitely be doing, I love that. It's looking so good. I think it may be a little bit too much white in and around here. I like, cause this is like a thick white full block. It feels like a bit much, but I don't know. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. And I think once we get all the towers on and stuff and the pyramid, especially, it's going to look fantastic. Uh, but over here is kind of where I'm thinking for the mammoths. It's a pretty nice big area. Um, and it's got some flat, I mean, it's not like super steep or anything. It's got some nice flat lands here. Um, we can get, um, a little bit of, uh, you know, grass growing. Um, I'm thinking we might be able to also like build them a cave into like one of these walls here. Although I don't know how smart that is. I know Fabe, I was watching one of his episodes and he had issues with, uh, some of his mammoths suffocating to death. So I don't know if... Uh, designing a cave for their use is a great idea, but I think if I can, I'm gonna do some testing. Uh, out where I got my spruce trees and stuff, I did find a snowy biome, um, and so we'll probably um, get a little bit of snow together. Um, and I know snow golem won't survive in here, but I, I want to know if I place down snow um, and like I, I need to I need to see if I can find a packed ice biome. I guess. Um, or because well because we're gonna want to light it up so it's definitely gonna need to be packed ice but I want to put some packed ice and some snow down in here then to make it feel you know fit for some mammoths but I'm, I really like this area here um, it's kind of nice along this lake and I'm, again I'm thinking we'll have like a boardwalk sort of thing here uh, along this lake which will allow people to uh, you know get a viewing point on the plesiosaurs we probably will have some sort of access terminal for um, like if we do an underwater um, sort of thing, maybe we, maybe we, I don't, I don't know how we execute it yet, but if we have some sort of underwater viewing area for the plesiosaurs, maybe that's accessed from over on this boardwalk sort of thing that I'm thinking will probably end up wrapping around all the way over till like here a bit. Um, so I'm thinking that'll look pretty cool. And then that would give us access to the mammoths uh, here as well. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. I really like, I, I think this terrain area here is just cool. I, I, and for whatever reason, I, I, I recognize Shane uh, told me, you know, they, they really are plains or forest animals. Uh, and we'll, we'll have trees in here and stuff for sure. Um, but I think a little hillier kind of mountainish plains uh, would be really sweet for in here. So uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking at this point. Um, I'm thinking the mammoths will probably go here. So for now, um, mammoth. Uh, we'll go there, um, and then again, trikes over there, and, and maybe a Carnotaurus. Uh, I've got some DNA for that. We'll probably hatch him next time. Uh, we do have a pen available there um, at uh, at the base camp because we uh, we had to hatch that uh, another Allosaur um, out somewhere else. Well, we wouldn't have put him at base camp anyway uh, because uh, for the color variant, we had to hatch him somewhere else, uh, but we have an Allosaur enclosure, so he wouldn't have been using up a pen at base camp anyway. But anyway. Um, I want to end today. We've got this biofossil and we've got um, some bones here. And so what I want to do is I want to get the centerpiece of this uh, this visitor center kind of in place. Um, so we're gonna it's gonna take us a, a bit to cycle through here. Um, I want to do that because um, what I what I think I want to have here in the center, um, is a little copy, uh, a Spinosaur. So we've got lots of cool, and we'll be using some of these other skeletons in here for sure. Like I said, 
We'll probably be having some museum displays all throughout this place, and I think up in the top level would be a good place to have some of those extra, oop, some of those extra displays at. Um, No, T Rex. Uh, that was a Ceratorus or something. Uh, Raptor maybe there. Trike. Mosasaurus. Gallimimus. Stego. Come on. Ronto or Brachio or whatever, whatever that one's supposed to be. Pterodon. Come on. Oh, I didn't expect it would take this long. Here we go. Come on. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna get one, and then I'm gonna accidentally punch it to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of Spino just because um, we've got a T-Rex and a Brachiosaurus up uh, at the front of the park, um, and uh, I think this Spino. I know traditionally um, it's a T-Rex in the visitor center, but um, I think that the Spino. Just with the with the frill and it's a big guy and all that, I think it lends a little more uh, to this space. The T-Rex, you know, there we go. Okay, perfect. So we got to get him in place. So um, how do I want him? I want him kind of angled this way. So let's do that. Does that look? Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so now then we can um, reposition him if we shift and right click on him. We can kind of drag him into position. I've got a piece of glass here in the middle uh, because eventually uh, my intention is going to be to have um, a beacon here in the center of the visitor center. Um, and uh, and I, I obviously don't have any means to make a beacon at this point, um, but I think that eventually that'll be pretty cool to have. So I've got that glass there for that purpose. And then we just hit it with some bones. Um, and uh, it comes into, into view. We can probably even go a little bit bigger with this. A couple more. I don't want it to be ginormous, like excessively large, but um, well, let's hit it a couple more times. We can always break it and, and start over if it gets too big for our liking, but that's probably, he's not glitching into anything around here, right? So we can probably make that work. Let's uh, bring him back a little bit. I want his center dot right on the middle there. Um, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I think that's going to be pretty epic as we come in here. Um, you know, we can we can probably see him a little bit through the entryway there. Uh, and then as we enter, um, I think it'll be a really nice epic sort of thing there. Um, kind of in the center of the... Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and then we've got the little, you know, kitchen thing or whatever. Let's take a look at it real quick from the top. Uh, and then we'll call it a day. We'll call it a day. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty epic. Um, so very excited with how the Visitor Center is coming along. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I haven't gotten much feedback on it. Um, you guys only really uh, give me feedback when I'm screwing something up uh, and you want to inform me on something about the mods, which I appreciate, or your name and something. So uh, if you guys have any in uh, feedback on the build we're doing or uh, you know how I'm thinking about laying out the park, things like that, uh, I'd love to hear from you guys on that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torment the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure you those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys. And I will see you all back here uh, next time. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one.